Alright, hello there YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Guess today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time. Guess I'll do a brief species profile on the Placosmus catfish. And, um, generally speaking, when you see Placosmus catfish pet stores, they'll be sold as common plex. Now, the problem with this is that the common plex actually or consists of a multitude of species. Um, this guy here, he is a Hypostomus placostomus. So he is basically a true common pleco. But there is the Arapacosmus, which belongs to a different genus, which I can't remember how to pronounce. But I'll add a link to it in the description box when I get the time. And, um, this guy here, he's, well, maybe he's not Hypostomus Placosmus, but he is of the genus Hypostomus. And this guy here, he's a uh, eight-year-old pleco, going on nine. He's, um, about seven inches long. And the thing is, the fish you get in stores sold as Hypostomus Placosmus. They can often grow between a foot and three feet, depending on which type you get, or which type you are mis unfortunate enough to get due to the poor identification within the Pocosmus. Now, the Pocosmus is an aquarium staple, and they can withstand pretty much all sorts of pH and temperatures, but generally speaking, keep them at the general uh, tropical pH, which is, which is usually between 6 and 8 and temperatures between, say, 20 and 27 degrees. That's usually where they do best, even though they can go lower and they can go higher. I actually have Placosmus arrive at a 45 degree tank that happened a few, well, actually over a decade ago due to a heater accident. So, um, they are very hardy. Now, with the Placosmus, there's a common myth that they can live just off the algae in your tank. That is not possible unless you have an absolutely enormous tank that is overrun by algae. Since if you look at this tank, there's literally no algae, except for a bit of algae on this wood. And that goes to show you that Placosmus, they can be very effective at cleaning away algae from a tank. The only problem is, they won't eat certain types of algae. I'm pretty sure they do not eat brown algae. They like to eat the greens and the blue-green algaes. And some species will eat red algae also. But the species I got here, he's the Hypostomus, so they are largely largely herbivore, but you could consider them to be somewhat of an omnivore also. And the dead fish, the fish in my tank that died, my dad said he only found two bodies. And one reason why he probably only found two bodies was six fish that died over the my few months of misfortune that occurred is because some of the fish that died probably end up inside this cosmos. So they will eat your dead fish. But one thing to keep in mind is that when you are feeding them, you should avoid using high protein foods. So, for example, if you were to feed this guy only uh, shrimp pellets, he'd probably get uh, organ damage and die from that. So, one thing you need to do is you need to supplement their diet, usually good algae wafer, maybe a piece of lettuce, that type of stuff. So, that'll keep your Pocosmus healthy. And, um, another thing that I want to uh, bring up is some people, when they buy a tank, say a 75 gallon tank, they will get multiple Pocosmus. There's no need to get that many Pocosmus in your tank. They're not social fish, they fight. And particularly if you got two large, say, two foot or, say, large two or three foot Pocosmus in your tank fighting, they will do damage since these guys, they can break heaters, basically crush plants, and snap filter intake valves. So, um, you do not want to keep them in groups unless you got a very, very big tank. Or if you're keeping the smaller species, then maybe you can keep them in groups. But, say, in my tank, which is, this is a five foot 75, you only really, really need one Pocosmus cat in particular like if you want it to be able to live its bland pleco life it's better to keep one because they're not very active during the day like this guy he likes to hide underneath this uh, wooden stump he also will hide around here I keep giving them I design my tank layout so that the cosmos can have multiple hide spots since they can get a little pushy with our fish for example if a pictus cat is hiding here and he wants to hide here he'll chase the pictus cat right out otherwise they're a peaceful fish they are not predatory at all. You can keep them with fish significantly smaller than them. And the only time they're ever going to eat another fish is when the other fish is sick. Because they are such awkward swimmers. They can't catch something that is fast moving. And um, another thing about the Placosmus is that they do have this impressive set of armor. And the scaly armor, well actually they do not have scales. Their uh, armor is actually it's thermal bone that grows right out onto the skin. So this armor, as well as their dorsal and pectoral spines, they can get really badly tangled up in nets. And um, one thing that I do when I catch plecos is I catch them by my hand. 
So um, when you catch them by hand, you gotta be a bit careful, make sure you don't get picked. But basically what you want to do is you want to take your fingers and you uh, want to pinch their abdomen, pinch them around the abdomen region. And that's how I catch them. So uh, this has been a bit of the species profile on the Cosmos Catfish. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.